Lawyers for Saudi Arabia today asked a judge in Manhattan federal court to reject them as defendants in lawsuits brought by victims, uh, by families of victims of the September 11th terrorism attacks. The lawyers said that Saudi Arabia was not in any way behind the attacks, that although all but one of the hijackers was from Saudi Arabia, that there was no involvement by any officials in, from Saudi Arabia or anyone in the government or anyone who had uh, diplomatic uh, positions in the United States from Saudi Arabia. And they asked the judge to throw it out, saying that for the last four years, lawyers for the plaintiffs have tried to gather evidence and haven't come up with any more than suggestions and inferences and innuendo and hair and hearsay. Lawyers uh, for the plaintiffs, however, claim that they've come up with evidence that proves that officials from Saudi Arabia were involved in the attacks and had uh, people in the United States that they worked with to welcome the hijackers more than a year before the attacks and make sure that they were able to get what they needed to get done in the United States so that they could carry out the September 11th attacks. Today was incredible. We heard things that we've never heard before. They unmasked many Saudi nationals, many that were involved in the planning and the plotting of the 9-11 attacks that worked closely with Omar al-Bayoumi, who was the handler for the first arriving hijackers. So our team of lawyers laid out the story in, this, in a fashion, as I just said, never seen before. And we now know how deeply involved the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia was in planning, plotting, and executing the attacks.